Notice there's no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello and welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. And uh, today I'm going to tell you the story of God's embroidery. And this, of course, will show up with a yellow thumbnail um, because it's an anecdote or a story that's uh, designed to tell something. Anyway, but first we'll start off with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for the, everything you've given us and all that you do. Please watch over us, guide us, direct us, and keep us safe from all harm. Please be with everyone who uh, views these videos and help them to get the proper uh, recipe in their life, to get all the ingredients in the proper proportions. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Okay. I once read, and this story was shown uh, as anonymous, a story called God's Embroidery. The author is unknown to me, and uh, if you do know the author, uh, or you are the author, please send me information, and I'll uh, make sure you get proper credit on the, uh, the blog post. The story goes that there's a young child sitting on the floor at their mother's knee. And uh, they're looking up, and the mother's doing embroidery work, and... Uh, the child looks up and all they can see is a mishmash of all sorts of different colors. Some dark ones mixed with some light ones going across in all sorts of just kind of chaotic order. And uh, the child asks the mother, what are you doing? And the mother says to the child, well, just hold on, I'm making a pretty picture. And the child uh, says, well, it looks like a mess to me. And the mother says, well, when I'm done, I'll bring you up here with me and let you look down and see exactly what it is that I've done. And uh, the child was satisfied with this, continued watching, and couldn't figure out what in the world the mother was doing. And uh, after a little while, the mother picked the child up, put her, uh, the child on her lap, and then the child could see that there was a beautiful picture that had been made out of all that uh, chaos of the different uh, colors going back and forth in all sorts of different places. And the mother said, what you didn't know is that I had a planned pattern here, a, a pre-printed pattern that showed me exactly what to do. And I simply followed the plan and uh, was able to create a beautiful picture. And the uh, implication here is that that's the way things are with God. That we're down here on earth, living this earthly life, looking and seeing all sorts of strange things going on. The dark colors are the bad times in life. The light colors are the better times in life. And we just really don't understand what's going on. But God understands. God has a uh, plan for all of this and uh, our lives. And we won't know until we get to heaven what his plan actually was. Now, I actually saw something like this in real life happen. Uh, I was in the, uh, the band at Crescent High School. And our drum major, Doug Anderson, was a very, very well, um, not known artist, but uh, accomplished artist. Uh, very good painter and uh, one day for whatever reason we weren't having regular band class we were they were conducting some different uh, um, administrative kind of tasks taking up music getting the music catalog getting the uh, uniforms cataloged and making sure that all these school and instruments were properly maintained and that type of thing and so Doug decided to entertain us he got out a canvas and uh, his paints and he sat down, and several of us gathered around him watching what he was doing. And uh, he'd make a little brush stroke here, a little brush stroke there, and we all tried to figure out what it was he was painting. Now, he didn't tell us what he was painting, but uh, each brush stroke revealed a little bit more of the picture. Still, we had no idea what it was he was trying to paint, and we would try to guess, and he wouldn't comment on whether we were right or wrong. He just continued painting. Now, I don't remember what he ended up actually painting. I don't remember what the painting was or even if he completed it during that class period. But it was plain to see that the picture was coming together, that he knew what he was uh, painting, that he had a plan of what was going on, but that we wouldn't understand the different bits and pieces as they fit together. And that's the way that God, God's plan comes together. We don't understand why certain bad things happen in our life or why certain good things happen 
um, that are just so amazing. We don't understand why one miracle takes place and then another thing that would seem like a, a much more simple miracle doesn't take place um, that would, what we think would make our life much better. Anyway, um, that's how God has it all worked out. We won't know until he finally reveals his plan to us, until we see that finished painting, until we see that uh, finished embroidery work. We hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you would, please, please um, leave us a comment in the comment box below. Please subscribe to this channel. Let us know uh, what you think about this particular story and share with us your thoughts on uh, the different aspects of Life Recipe. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. This is an FTC required notice. How to Manage Your Monkey is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program, an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon.com.